Study other people with dooms? Everyone in Bridges, myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids, waste products, chirelic, dispensing. There, take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Who knows, it may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the death stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. 
After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Sam, sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Hell, oh, maybe it'll help you rest easier. We received a number of messages addressed to you. I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading. Just yet. Believe me when I tell you it's for the best. 
There's some woman in the mask who's done nothing but lie to me. How's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too. With other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, lead-through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. Sam, all check clear. the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. While you're arresting, I ran some network diagnostics. Corellia monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. Weapons restrictions lifted.
most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. But be careful, these guys are armed. If this goes sideways, be ready to fight. of the post box containing our huh. cargo. are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise.
in a cargo high. Shame we gotta deal with their bullshit at all. Back in the day, AI did everything. Deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles and drones. And all we had to do was sit back and let them work. It was revolutionary. Damn near singularity. No reason for it not to take off. But it didn't. People didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. So, after some consideration, we put it back in. Made jobs no one really needed and gave them the folks who couldn't live without them. And from there, it snowballed. Now we got cults of cargo chasing crazies who get off on hijacking shipments. Jackal's always on the lookout for the next porter. Make sure you're not him. Restrictions lifted. <laughs> Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until the marcher. Cargo verified. Thank you. Decontaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges.
but trust me, it'll be worth it. Excellent. The unit doesn't have a scratch on it. Never doubted you'd come through for us. Sam, how are your shoes holding up? Not too well, I imagine, conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that, and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. Good work, Sam. It seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a chiral printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further... locker can be used to store cargo and the like.
That thing you're holding is a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. The surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Order of time. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Restrictions lifted. Sam, Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I advise you to use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors. Simple though. 
Access the delivery terminal to drop off any Cairo crystals you're carrying. Decontaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. for us? These crystals only form in places with elevated Kyrillian levels, which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. Not a bad haul. Plenty enough for research. We'll take good care of it. Excess chiral crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment as needed. Container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with timefall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. There is a correlation between elevated Corellium levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry though, local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications.
We've added a bridge schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation, after which you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Take a stroll across one you built yourself, and I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. Give it a try. Okay, Sam. Make your way to the designated construction area for the bridge. The foundation should already be in place. With your help, we'll have the thing finished in no time. There should be a terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional materials. Weapons restrictions lifted. to submit additional materials.
Bravo, Sam. That bridge should make life easier for a lot of people. You can be sure that every traveler and porter who passes that way will put it to good use. Keep an eye out for other spots that could do with another well-placed bridge. Pleasant journey. 